Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 17 of FTB University, where we are making the focus pouch. Nice. And now this guy's going to hold all of our... Oh, we can put it on as a bauble. Uh, all of our, our gauntlet thingies. Uh, now, what was the control? Change caster focus. Now I don't think this works because uh, we don't have we don't have any uh, other other focus thingies. So I think we need some. And that was vitreous, which was glass, potential, and air. Now I forgot how I made this last time. Was it on something? So we needed that stone stuff, right? Or was it a pedestal? These things. I think ancient pedestals better. Ancient stone slabs. Ancient stone. It's an infinite loop of where you get that stuff from. Ancient pedestal. We need arcane stone, which was just stone and. Stone and a crystal. Hey, yeah, there's some. Oh, there it was. Like four. Nice. And okay. So it's just those crystals we want, right? Because we're trying to make more of these focus thingies so that we can have... Yeah. Alright. So this comes from glass, so that's easy. Aurum. Aurum, Aurum, Aurum. Hey, it comes from Shimmerleaf. Hey, I, I got some of that and I don't have it on me though. Yes, I do. Shimmerleaf. Hey, that's heaps of that stuff. Cool. Now, can we grow these? Probably. So, yeah. Are we chucking an auto this crystal? We got a bunch of them. Nice. So we want this stuff. We wanted some of these things. And this should give us our things. Oh, we need glass. Alright, so we want some of these focus thingies. And we need to put some glass in. We need to put some pedestals in. So this is going to get us... This is only enough for two. So let's do two of them. So we need 20, so we need 40 of this in total. So we had eight glass, four of them. And we only need 20 shimmer leaves, so that's two shimmer leaves. And this should be the perfect amount. Uh, why are we not getting more? We're out of... Ah, oh, that's right. I took extra of the pedestals. The pedestals didn't give us the actual amount they said they would. It's all coming back to me. Oh dear, why is that not working? What are we missing? Oh, we're missing glass. Missing, uh, we're missing some more of that. Uh, oh, three. Three spells would be enough. Yes, yeah, so when I was doing some reading, trying to figure out why I couldn't uh, combine my different uh, essentia things, uh, that's intended. They want it to be difficult to craft the harder to get ones, so you've got to like craft items to make them. But yeah, I get it. It makes sense. Otherwise, if you could just make everything out of the base ones, you can get like infinite of them pretty easily somehow. So yeah, that's cool. I can live with it. And we'll just dump junk in here. It'll be fine. Oh, 
Okay, so we got three spells we can make now. I don't want to do that. What other spells did we have? So put a focus thingy there. Knocks things back. Flux. Four attack damage. Freezes water and will slow creatures. I mean, four damage. Flux ignores armor. Or does bypass mundane armor. Uh, maybe we'll go with fire. And ah. Uh, Didn't I have to change... Like, won't this light me on fire? Can't you change what it aims at? Let's read the book. Was it in the quest or was it in the book? Uh, okay, maybe this will work. So crystals require Ignis. Yeah, we've got heaps. Um, so fire. Seven attack damage, can we do that? Ooh. Hey, that's cool. Doesn't seem like we can edit it. Okay, so then. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that aimed at us. Um, how do you change where it aims? Ah, okay. Um, I think I made a dumb one. Uh, and I don't know how to... Ah, uh, nope. Nope, that did it again. Uh, how do I remove? Aha, there we go. So can I modify one that I've already done stuff to? Here we go. So touch. So we need a Versio crystal. I don't think I've got one of them. All right, how do we make one of them? So a Versio is on like swords and stuff. Okay, cool. Like a, like an iron sword. Yeah, let's make a couple. I'm figuring it out, I'm figuring it out. Okay, so we've got... So we want touch and fire. And want some more power? Can we do that? Ooh, we can. Eight damage, that's pretty good. So it seems like you can overwrite the spells. Nice. Hey, that's better. So it doesn't go very far. Doesn't actually light stuff on fire. Like blocks or anything. Does it cook sheep? Uh, it doesn't actually cook them. Maybe if the sheep had died of the burning. So that's cool. That's really cool. 
Right, well, let's see if we can... Can we increase the healing? Can we make the healing better? So, self is fine. Heal. Five healing. So, requires Victus. So there's some Victus. Ah, oops, I lost it. Heal. We can do 12. Hee <laughs> hee. So this should be better healing. So let's injure ourselves. Ooh, that was like two hearts. All right, cool. Okay, so it seems like we've only got basic spells at the moment. A couple of lesser focus thingies though, so we might as well make a flux one. That's what we want touch and then flux. Oh, aversio and vitium. So aversio and vitium. What color was vitium? Purple. We got two. Did that need four? Oh no, it just needs one. So let's make the best one. Now why won't you craft? Huh. Ah, oh, maybe we didn't have enough these stuff in the area. So let's put this pouch back, because that's pretty cool. Oh, not that. Eh, Alright, uh, since we can't overwrite these, let's just make... Oh, we don't have enough experience. Alright, so, but you wanted the Aversio and the green one. The rest of these back. I guess we just wait for night time so we can test, uh, <laughs> test this stuff out on some monsters. Cool, cool. Right, so the other thing we we're working on was this dude. Because I know there's a way to extract stuff like into bottles and stuff. Also, some bits of the traveler might be cool. And it's the infusion altar. Let's make this. So oh, we're missing infusion research. Oh, well, we're waiting for the next day. Uh, can we get infusion research? Hey, if we make an altar, like if we made one of these, does it count for research? It doesn't. Okay. Good to know. I think we need these altars anyway. So, yeah. So we need an anvil for this. Hey, we got iron on us. Oh. Yeah, we do. Uh, we can request 70, uh, 64, go. Nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna be just short. I don't know, we had the stuff anyway. But hey, look, our 64 iron turned up. Best, best investment so far. Okay, so if we hit an anvil, we can tinker. Like it's just goggle magic. So it looks like this one, we can either get 15 artifice and an extra light bulb. This one, we get 27 artifice, but we lose two light bulbs. We'll go for that, we'll gamble. Enchantment table. Uh, so we need the artifice or this is way more artifice. Ah, oh, but uses two light bulbs. This one. I see. This is where we're gonna make stuff. Uh, a redstone comparator. All right. Redstone comparator, and it gives us tinker. 
And yeah, if it's got the exclamation mark, it actually uses the item. So that's cool. Like this would use... I don't think we got Spiritus. Ah, so this Synthesis one. This would actually combine these two. So we looked at Spiritus, and we could find that one, uh, what was it, Terra? Spiritus and Terra would give us that, which I don't know what that does. Oh, you could make a control seal guard, I think that's for golems, uh, but let's just do this. Lose 15, but gain 30. Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, we don't have them. A daylight sensor. I was going to use that daylight sensor, but that's cool. And that's going to use that comparator, which is fine. And we got two sunglasses magic. Uh... Whoops. What do we got? Hey, looks like we got an arcane infusion thing. Oh, it's night time. And now what was the point of that again? <laughs> a feather and a vial of fire, a file of air essence. Is this a file? It's a jar. How do you make a file? A, like file with a P. A glass file. Huh. Well, that looks easy. Now, I think clay's in the system. Oh, we got clay anyway. So, if we made a file. Like, do you just do this? No. Hey, weren't we going to do something with this thing? Make that. Oh. oh, we got no experience. That's what we were waiting on. Hey, can we hit Enderman with this stuff? Probably a bad idea. No. Alright, good to know. Come here guys, I want to test out my cool magic. Six damage. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try out fire. Let's heal. Oops. Fire. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and I think you can have it in your offhand too, so you can like run around with your sword and then right click and shoot flames. Hey, which actually is kind of handy because we've got looting on our sword. And now we're like a battle mage. Awesome. Changing between spells is a bit of a pain. But having the healing in the offhand is pretty good. Like, healed. And will be handy for doing blood magic stuff as well. Which, oh, at some point, at some point. <laughs> I think we got uh, quite a bit of Thorncraft stuff to do if we, if we stick with it. Oh, I want fire again. Fire. And I've set myself on fire, but that's cool. It seems like there's a bit of a... Uh... Oh dear. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it seems like there's a bit of latency going on. Actually, if there is, which you can find out by going COFH TPS, 14, 
16. Yeah, I think 20 is what it's supposed to be. Uh, we should have in here leg goggles. Insert. There's my current one. Prep off 30 seconds. So this, uh, and we want world. Uh, I think world is TPS. And actually, to be fair, FPS might be a good one to do. It should tell us what's causing the TPS issues. Aha, so <laughs> entities by type. So item hoppers, uh, these can cause issues. Oh, look, I'm causing more lag than them though. Uh, like this is a fraction, a fraction of a thing, but it's just the combination of everything. Uh, hoppers cause more latency if you don't have a chest on top of them. That's something I learned, but we can see here that by far this lumen thing, these lumen fireflies, I mean TBS is fine now. And wait, how do we turn this off? Hide. Yeah. But all the fireflies that are everywhere are causing issues. Because, like, they're everywhere. Oh, man. And they don't really seem to do anything either. Like, you can make fireflies in a jar, but man, that's a lot of fireflies. Yeah, my house is this way. So yeah, I might turn off that Lumen mod, like there's no quests around it. I mean, it's kind of cool, but... Yeah, I think the Firefly's spawning rate is a little overtuned. Okay, so yeah, for our Infusion, we've unlocked Infusion. We just need the Runic Matrix. We still have missing Infusion research. Oh. Well, okay. Oh, we needed the file of air essence. Okay, cool. Hey, we can craft our air thing as well now. Not our air thing, our uh, other spell. Nice. Yeah, I think it was just the vase that's in the chunk was missing. You can see it in that top left bar, that little vial thing that's slowly filling up. I think that must have been too low. And you see like this number's going up. This is how much uh, energy's in the chunk kind of thing. Hey, let's, what does this do? Okay. Oh no, 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 no. That's what I think about you. Right, so we need a vial of air essence. So I think if we grab some air, can we cook it? And then it goes in here. Okay, okay. Anyway, and didn't we need that for... Oh, we need a feather and... A feather and ten. There. So if we put another nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This takes a while. Or we lost some. There we go, and then can we... Hey, that's how that works. Cool. Ah, oh, that's how you make the labels for the jars as well. So you could be like, ah, oh, this is the label for only air goes in here, and it actually stops other things from going in the jar. Which I think will just make heaps of jars and let it sort itself out. Um, so then we need a feather. You guys haven't got any feathers for me? I mean, you're gonna have feathers for me. Thanks. Anyway, and that should be enough for this thing, right? Yeah, and then we can complete it. Did that make anything? Didn't, but it used up the thing. And what did it say? Oh. Okay, I think I missed out on what the, the, the thing was that it said before, but a runic matrix. So just a cane stone bricks. One of each of those. I think we can do that. 
yeah, I don't know if I should be reading some more of the lore stuff, because it is it is pretty cool, but I figure... I mean, if you're into it, you'd enjoy it. But if you weren't into it, you'd really hate me reading out the lore stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we're full on lubricant too, so we're not going to be getting diesel. That's fine. That's fine. We're not even using power at the moment. Cool. So we need some of those bricks. Yeah, we need one of those nitro, and we made a couple of them. So cool. We can make a runic matrix. Hey, hey, we did it. And that was a quest, and we get candles and skulls. Now, you notice some things are highlighted. <laughs> so it's a multi block structure. I think that's important. See the Thermonomicon for how to build it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use Salus Mundus on the infusion matrix to finalize it. Cool. Around the altar place are cane pedestals and a symmetric pattern. Some recipes need more ingredients and thus more pedestals. So I don't know how many pedestals. We'll look up and see what the most we need is. So arcane infusions run the chance of instability, which can cause awful side effects. I'm picking I'm probably going to run into that because that seems to be how Thorncraft's going for us. But it talks about like make sure the altar and surrounding pedestals are symmetric. And you can place certain blocks, so candle skulls, which those are the quest rewards you got. Other creepy magic stuff, so it's not that specific. I don't know what counts and what doesn't. Uh, in the area to further increase stability. So again, make sure it's symmetric above all else. I think if it's not symmetric, it causes it to go worse and be more unstable. Now, an infusion requires infusion recipes require essentia, which must be supplied on watered jars. So these are watered jars, right? Yeah. So we need to set up this dude. Cool. It's definitely not how you set him up. I did specifically say to to. Oh, here we go. Aha, there's how you build it. Okay, cool. So we need eight arcane stones and an arcane pedestal. I can't really see. Ah. Okay, so four and another two, and then there's a gap in between that thing and the other thing. Nice. Oh, well, we've already got them. Now, was it arcane stone or arcane bricks? Arcane stone bricks. So, this guy goes in the middle. We have a thing, and then this guy sits on top. And you don't, you don't actually live there. I think it's just this. And then we need some Salus Mundus. Uh, we'll take you off for now. And then this. Huh. Uh, no? Okay. What do we do? Ah, I think the problem is... No wait, didn't that look like box bricks? I'm just blind. I mean, that's, ah, uh, okay. That uses the bricks, but this just uses the stone. That's the problem. Luckily, we got a bunch of that. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think this should be more than what we need. I don't know if you ever need this many. It's said to keep it symmetrical. So I think that literally means like if you've got one here, you want one on the opposite side. Like that would be bad because it's not in the exact same place. And yeah. Like I think that's pretty symmetrical. It says stable. Now if we remove one, does it say unstable? It doesn't. Okay. It's probably not going to say anything until we start doing stuff. 
So if we then put these on the corners. Like that's symmetrical, right? Um, and we've got four left. Can you do this? Like, I don't know if this counts. You put stuff like randomly everywhere. I guess we'll find out. I had some of these candles, so if we wanted to make this symmetrical, we'd go for like the corners, right? And we got some skulls. We got six skulls. So we could do like. We got two left, which two is pretty hard to make symmetrical, so we won't do that. And yeah, like that should be cool, right? I have no idea. I don't know how this works. Okay, so if that's cool, I might change the grass to something else as well at some stage. And then we can put more Olympics. Why didn't we make more last time? I need brass plates and... I mean, those aren't bad. It's probably the brass plates we were waiting on. Cool, and then I think we can chuck these dudes on top of the sky. And I think they all work together. Now, it's kind of a bit of a pain at the moment. We have to, like, cook stuff. So let's say we put some... Uh, Some silver wood. We're gonna end up here. Yeah, we got some relief stuff. Can we tie on a bottle of that? It looks like we can. It's got relief stuff, and then and we end up with our other stuff up there. We lost some, but that's cool. But now we have to like. Ah, oh, whoops! If you shift right click it, you release it into the atmosphere. How are things looking over here anyway? Ah, pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, yeah, we have to like grab this dude, right click on this. Now it's in there. I'm not about that. I'm not about that. That's a pain. Yeah, when I've seen other people use it, they've had like tube thingies that come out of the side and it just shoots the stuff into the jars automatically. I don't know what that is, but I want it. Is that like the next quest we get? Make that less painful. Oh, we need to get a theory for making these boots anyway. What's this cloud stepper ring? Reduce falling damage and possibly help my mobility. Hey, I want to make this. 50 air. Hey, we could probably make this. Mundane ring. Chemical brass nuggets. Hey, luckily we can't. Let's make that. All right, it's going to be our first infusion craft. So we need 100 air. Ah, uh, that's a lot. We have 50. Where do we get air from? Now, see, these crystals you can get, and they, like, grow these dudes. You get them from a void miner. Ah. We could grow them. But we don't have crystal farming. All right. Okay. So, air. What has air on it? Botania flowers. They got heaps of junk, though. Jukeboxes. I mean, they're not bad. They got all sorts of junk on them though. Uh, yeah. I got, I got wood and diamonds. Yeah, give me some diamonds. So if they each have 15, but we're going to lose some. Give her 12. Cool. Alright, and let's get ready with our quartz. Because, yeah, there might be a bit of... It's going to be a bit of junk. 
Oh dear. Okay, so there was too many at once. Man, I've really not learned my lesson. What did we do to the environment when we did this? That's not too bad. It's fine. We've had way worse. Cool. And if we wanted to make this ring thing. Was it the cloud? Cloud stepper ring. It's just a feather and a, a crystal. And a mundane ring. Which we specifically kept some alchemical brass. Mundane ring. So if we were going to do this, which we are, we would chuck this in here. And we need to keep keep a couple. Hopefully we end up with a hundred of this stuff. Hope we end up with a hundred of this stuff. And you're going to go there. Then you're going to go like there. And then we had a feather. And hopefully uh, this feather doesn't get destroyed. I think like this looks symmetrical, right? This doesn't start, does it? No, no he's not doing anything. Okay, and we got 85. That's not enough. All right. Well, we know what time it is. Uh, give me six. We need one more. A hundred. Right, and this a bit of sleep. Now I could look up how you actually start this, but I'm just gonna try and guess. I've never started one before, so <laughs> this should be cool. Might cause an environmental disaster. That's right, we have a hundred. Now is this automatically gonna get pulled over here? And how do we start the craft? That's that's a question. And once you have any matrix, possibly prized. With a casting tool. What is a casting tool? Is it this? Huh. Might did oh yep. Yeah. Something's happening. Something's happening. Is it? Oh, now something's happening. Hey, look, the stuff's coming over. And it's very stable. Oh, nice. Oh, so I didn't even use it all. Wait, didn't it say it needed 100? Oh, I needed 50. Whoops. Hey, a cloud stepper ring. So what does this do? What does this do? Ah. Does she create a momentary puff of air below the wear? And I'm going to pour I mean, the second jump thing is definitely not working. Have to activate it. Uh, gives you a double jump. Uses Vs. Ah, oh, do we need to charge it? I think we need to charge it because we didn't have a quest for a a charging pedestal, a recharge pedestal. This is the thing we need. Uh, I'm just aware. Probably out of time. Probably out of time. <laughs> well, guys, we did it. We've we've made our first infusion craft, and I made a ring we can't use yet because uh, we still need the we still need the charging pedestal. But that's cool.
We got a couple more spells. We got the setup. We can do the transfer thingy. Yeah, things are going well. Things are going well. Uh, next episode, I think we're just going to carry on with some Thorncraft. Yeah, I already started on the Hitmas Ride now, uh, figuring stuff out. So, yeah, why not carry on with it? And, yeah, okay. This has been Classic Duff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.